How's it everybody, Celtic Link here, we're back for another Dokkan Battle video. In today's video, we are showcasing the brand new LR STR Carnival Goku from the plan to eradicate the Saiyans movie. Now, I know the card art does show all of the Z fighters there, but unfortunately it is just a Super Saiyan Goku, which kind of helps him but it also hurts him in a way and we'll talk about that in a minute but we have this guy at 55 percent we have him level one links right out the gate uh awakened so we're gonna go ahead we're gonna test him out in the uh legendary vegeta event just to see how we can kind of do with him so let's take a look at what he does on his passive he is getting key five and attacking defense 150 percent he gives super class allies key two and defense 50 percent he reduces damage received by 30 percent plus an additional attack and defense 15 percent with each attack received he gets an additional key two from this uh turn in which he receives the fifth attack he proceeds enemy super attack within the attacking turn from the next turn onward after he receives the 10th attack in battle plus an additional attack 50 percent and launches an additional super attack when activating the active skill or when we get 24 key he does have an active skill right that can be activated uh from the fifth turn from the start of battle or if we or after we receive 10 or more attacks so the same part of the latter half of his passive he is raising attack and defense for one turn on his 12 key super attack while also lowering defense and then on his 18 key he is doing the same thing but instead of lowering defense he's raising super class allies by 50 percent so pretty good you'll definitely want to prioritize him in slot one when available to give that extra 50% boost attack to the rest of the rotation. Um, we So here's the thing. We're going to be running him on the Carnival Goku lead, right? On his own lead for 200% for Battle of Wits. Why is that? Well, at the time this guy released on Global, he had act or on JP rather, he had access to two leader skills for 200%. He had access to Yamcha's and Bardock's, being that he was a Super Saiyan Goku. Unfortunately, on Global though, we don't have any other 200% leads for him aside from his own. So we're gonna go ahead and run him on that. So if you're wondering why the team is set up the way it is, it's well because this is essentially the best way we can run him on Battle of Wits while also giving him the support he needs. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna jump in with this team. We'll be linking him with the third year EZA. Should be fine enough. They do have uh, five links together so that should be good enough for us to showcase him um he has no higher level link partners on battle of wits at least that i own so let's go ahead let's jump in let's, right, do, let's do this. this all right i do think i have animations turned off so let's go ahead and do this perfect all right let's go ahead actually we have a pretty decent setup <laughs> told you, King Piccolo was the old me. This is not going to end like it did before. So, the basic plan is to have one rotation Piccolo, one rotation of the Carnival Goku. So, let's see. Um, it does look like our Carnival Goku is in the third slot, or seventh slot, rather. So, we're going to move Piccolo off. Um, let's see. Let's do that. Let's do that. And let's do that with the Piccolo. Alright, the main reason I'm doing this is because the Goku actually needs to be taking hits, so we want to prioritize putting him in front of hits. And with him in Salt 7, obviously that makes a problem. I do like doing these showcases sometimes when the unit doesn't start out on the exact perfect rotation because I do feel like it gives you a better representation of how he's going to behave, you know, when things don't always work out well, right? You're not always going to have the best setup on a red zone run, for example. You may have just like this where the card you need is, in fact, in slot 7. So let's see. Uh... We don't want to get the STR spheres because that'll actually screw us over. All right, let's do that number. So we're going to kind of stall out a bit here, but once we get set up, then we won't have to worry. Now, the friend, I believe, is a dead 
dev lead, so they are 55%, but they're like mid links, and we do want to be showing ours off at 55% level 1 links, so that's the main reason why we're not too focused on the friend lead. I mean, but that's still pretty good, all things considered, right? Okay, so... In retrospect, maybe we should have just powered through that. But at least now we have them on the rotation. Okay, so we'll do this number. Um, so, not only is he getting his own support, but he's got, like, triple support here on this rotation from the Krillin and from the Pycon, assuming we can get the type key spheres with him. So, taking a look here... Right, right out the gate, um, start of turn, he's looking at almost 300k on attack and just under 200 on defense. But remember, he does have 30% damage reduction, right? So, let's see. We're going to grab this. Um, I'm going to grab that with the Krillin. And let's see. Okay, so attack shot up quite significantly after the orb pickup, right? And then with the pipe key spheres with um, Pycon, obviously now we get a little extra support too. So not bad for that first turn, right? 2.8, not bad. And now he took the hit, he took another hit, so he's just gonna keep building with every hit. So that, now we just gotta get seven more hits. <laughs> So in, in like Red Zone Broly or Omega or even Cell Max, I feel like that's going to be pretty easy to get the 10 hits on him uh, just because they attack so much by the time you actually need it. Cell Max might be a little scary simply because of the way super attacks might land because uh, he can attack up to three times per turn. But if you can get lucky and get off a bunch of attacks early on, you might be okay. All right, so let's do this number... Let's grab that. Let's grab the type key spheres. Let's grab that. Okay, perfect. Alright, Piccolo looking good. Okay, so the cool thing is, is LR Piccolo fits under this 200% leader skill. So we can have a rotation with him and just have him clear out the final phase once we're done with Goku. Excellent. Okay, so now we got our setup. Now we got everything we need. So, let's grab that. Okay, so attack got significantly higher. Um, obviously, defense is going to be a little bit lower than last turn since... Right, since now that Pycon is not here. We're only getting Krillin's support. So, how, yeah, we're looking, we're looking all right. And plus, with him in slot 1 here, it, launching the 18 key he, at 6.3, this is pretty good. He is supporting the rest of the rotation for 50% attack. So the next attacker is going to deal 50% more damage than he would normally. Obviously, we aren't too concerned about him, but I met on this... On his teams with, like, a Goku or a Gohan or the Easy A Gohan, like... Legit, you can run Gohan's, like, double AGL Gohan lead 180 and clear most events. Like, so you run this guy on Kamehameha, and you're talking pretty good next to that uh, AGL Gohan. Um, let's see here. Can we get a better setup? No. Alright, let's just take the type keys here as that. Uh, let's do that. Alright, Piccolo looking awesome. And then let's just take the rainbow uh, in case Pycon needs to dodge here. Still one of, hands down, one of my favorite LRs of the past year. Um, Vegeta and Trunks are close second, but this guy is definitely, he's so much fun to use. And it's kind of just awesome to know that Piccolo has probably one of the best LRs in the game right now. All right, Pycon, hurry up. Get out of here. You're only here for your type support. And he gets the dodge. Nice. He's also here for that.
Okay, perfect. So we got some more hits here that we can take. Um... Alright, let's grab that. Alright, so looking good. We're over 300k. Remember that the Goku is giving him, uh, giving allies 50% uh, defense on his on his passive, right? All right, he's given an extra key to and defense 50%. So with the Goku on, he's actually doing pretty well on top of his damage reduction, right? He still has that 30% damage reduction, so. Almost there with the hits we need, and we're still getting fully built up. We are getting the 24 key, so we're going to launch a guaranteed additional attack. We're up to 8.5 now, so actually looking really, really good on the build up here. And again, reminder, this is only level one links, right? We've only got five links active here. There's that guaranteed super. Excellent. It's a good thing our second slot unit doesn't need any build. All right, cool. All right, that brings us into the end phase. Got a little bit of support from the Krillin on this rotation. Um, let's do that number, guarantee the 18 key. Ooh, set up all these orbs for the Goku on the next rotation. All right, Piccolo's fully built up now. Look at that, you love to see it from a 55% unit. With a little bit of support, of course. Although, methinks Krillin might be taking a super here in a second. Let's see what happens. Nice, we get the additional super. I'm glad I went full additionals on this guy. I feel like it does really help him. Wow, he's actually doing really well. Okay, so, let's see here. Five links active. Let's do this number. Let's do that. So how are we looking this turn? Wow, look at that. <laughs> that his attack, I mean, it did take some build. Obviously in red zone, that's gonna build a lot faster. And defense is honestly not looking that bad with the support. I would definitely still probably run this guy for the red zone showcases. I'll probably run him on a 170 lead. Thinking maybe Vegeta and Trunks' team? We'll have to see. Um, simply because... I don't know if his... I mean, with Piccolo there, it, you may be alright. There's the additional super. Nice. You might be able to run him on Piccolo's team and get away with it. Um, but on his own team, I feel like he might have some trouble. Especially having to manage two of those guys. Although the extra defense that two of them provide is nice. I don't know. That's a tough call. We'll have to play it around. Maybe let me know in the comments. Uh, where What team would you guys want to see him on? Vegeta and Trunks? Um, his own team? Or maybe LR Piccolo's team? Because LR Piccolo does have Battle of Wits for 170. Alright. Let's see here. Let's grab that. Grab that. And that. Okay, so we are going to get the Dokkan attack with the LR Piccolo. He's going to tank this quite well. Yep, perfect. Time to get serious. Alright, so I do believe the Goku has taken enough hits. So I think on the next attacking turn for him, go you should start being able to see the supers, assuming there is one. All right, nice job, Piccolo. All right, so we may actually not get any attacks on this one. So actually, I do kind of hope we've already got the active skill. If we've got the active skill on him, we'll know that we did take the 10 attacks, right?
Alright, yeah, so I feel like when running two, unless you're running them both on your main rotations, which I don't know is the exact best idea, you may have some trouble. Okay, cool, we do get actually another attack here. Okay, we do have the active skill, we do have the scatter effect. Perfect. Alright, so let's grab that. Let's grab that with this guy. How are we looking this turn? Pretty good, actually. Alright, nice. All right, so he is fully built up, so it's just a matter of seeing how he does on the next fight here, when we enter the AGL phase. Alright, nice. We do have Pycon's active skill, so what we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to use Pycon's active skill here, just because I don't want him to die. Um, and then we'll let um, the LR Carnival Goku on the other rotation do his thing. So let's do this. You won't get past me. I'll show you the skills of a master. Alright, excellent. So let's see. Grab that for the 18 key. Let's grab that. And let's grab that. So, trying to set up these STR spheres for the Goku on the next rotation. Alright, let's see. Can we get a little extra damage out of you guys? No, not at all. Okay, so super attack slot one. So actually this will be a nice little test here. Okay, so let's let's kick things off. Let's use his super attack here. Or actually. Because he's raising allies by 50%. If we do the other one, we could get him to attack. But the other one has had, like, literally zero build. Huh. That's a tough call. How's his defense? It's about the same with the damage reduction. Oh, super attack. Huh. Alright. Here's what we're going to do. This might not be my smartest plan, but let's see if it works out. Let's go ahead, let's use his active skill here, and then go from there. Not bad, 5 million on the crit to the AGL Vegeta. So, looking at that, just so you guys uh, understand, with his active skill, it's massively raising the attack for the turn, right? And every hit is going to be a critical hit uh, this turn, and everybody now has an extra 5 key. So, here's what I'm thinking we do. I'm going to test this, because we should get the additional super. We have damage reduction. We're going to test this. This might be something bad, or it might be good. Um, but let's see here. Alright, so look at that. Beautiful attack stat. All right, just enough hits to get him fully built up. And he will launch an additional super. And on that 18 key, he did raise everybody's attack by 50%. Wow, really? He's going to go ahead and dodge it? Okay, but at least with the two additional supers and the stuff, we should be okay. Okay, nice. So we know ours would have obviously survived. So with that attack, that gets him up to 9.2. 
not bad. So that's kind of what we were trying to do there, um, basically. And now we get the additional super for also getting a crit. Um, yeah, use the first Carnival Goku to burst, uh, boost the other one with the super attack. And it worked out. Uh, that's actually pretty good. So honestly, I think you can kind of go mix with this guy the way he's built. Because he's got some pretty good chances to crit there. Um, especially if you're getting the active skill or the 24 key often. So, I mean, it couldn't hurt to have a little additional in him. But wow, what a final turn. We managed to make that play out really, really well for him. And we even got to test out his active skill and his scouter effect. So honestly, he's really good. Um, I could definitely see him helping you in a lot of events, right? The fact that our other friend one with like uh, almost bare minimum hidden potential of investment right it's the dev lead so they have like some wonky investment um on top of like sort of mid links if they can survive with no links active the super from agl obviously we know that our our one who is starting to look a lot better and got some decent investment in them is going to start looking a lot better in other fights knowing that they survived that uh without any links active so all in all i think he's a good unit i think uh if you manage to pick him up he's going to help you out a lot especially if you've been stuck on that battle of wits mission for the cell max event speaking of the cell max red zone stand by to check out these guys on their grand tour in the old ultimate red zone events right we'll be taking on cooler broly and everyone else to see how he fares in those events like i said i may take him on a 170 lead under piccolo or vegeta's lead, uh, vegeta and trunks's lead haven't really decided yet but in the comments down below you should let me know who would you want me to uh use as their lead for their showcase obviously it won't be a 200 percent lead but the teams will be much more cohesive so anyways guys that that is the video if you like the video make sure you hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you have not already and in the comments down below like i said let me know where you guys want to see this this guy run and what teams you want to see him run on otherwise guys as always thanks for watching and aloha